We can do anything we need to. Only thing we can't do is lose. That was the message of Rachel Lemire and Chris Fusel of the McChrystal Group last week in a webinar on crisis management and the role of chief of staffs in helping principals lead an organization. When things get chaotic, leaders want a chief of staff who can share thinking across the organization. But the chief of staff must be in sync with the principal on priorities, was noted as key for chief of staffs. Helping to keep and manage schedules, operating rhythms, and developing a 360-degree communications plan recommended by the McChrystal Group. President Eisenhower was credited with creating the modern version of the chief of staff position in, when he moved to the White House uh, based on his experience in the U.S. Army. How to keep an organization focused and informed during a crisis period when everyone is working around the clock often seven days a week. The McChrystal Group team recommended an early morning video conference for all and all professional members of the organization participating from top to bottom. To make the conferences, video conferences effective, they say build the human connection with familiar backgrounds, be prepared with a structured agenda, encourage critical questions, find ways to get others into the conversation, drive clarity, identify learning that can be applied immediately, and be honest in helping all make sense of uncertainty. That's what we're all doing today. Keep a laser focus on the problem. In a crisis, break your organization into highly effective teams with your most talented folks against most important problem. Communicate the key objectives, key directions three or more times uh, so that everyone understands and remembers. I think we learned that from advertising. Avoid trying to make perfect plans. Err on side of making mistakes of aggressive action. Triple the resources and activity from what you originally thought you would need. Keep the process moving. They use a Navy analogy. You can't steer a ship that is not moving. Uh, another Navy point the um, McChrystal Group team uh, noted, and uh, one of the officers is a former U.S. Uh, Navy SEAL, uh, SEAL, Chris Fusel. Take care of the ship, number one. Take care of the sailor to the left and to the right, and then take care of yourself. Uh, advice we hear all over the U.S. military. But most, another point, and we hear this often about uh, pilots. Uh, when most of the organization is focused on a crisis, someone has to consider what we need to do to keep the lights on. I often say pilots, you have to, if there is a problem with a plane, you need one person to try to solve the problem and the other person to keep flying the airplane. So, so as when you're trying to uh, solve a major problem, you have to have someone making sure everything else continues to run as it needs to. Uh, the team emphasized maintaining values in a crisis. Every action taken is assigned to those values. And so that was the message of Rachel Lemire and Chris Fusel of the McChrystal Group, founded by General Stan McChrystal, uh, and uh, in a webinar on March 18th on crisis management for chief of staffs. And uh, if you go to their LinkedIn page from the McChrystal Group, they have a, a nice set of uh, webinars coming up uh, to describe how to uh, manage in a crisis and how to project leadership in a crisis which was one of the topics that General McChrystal and Chris Fusel wrote about in an op-ed piece just this week in the New York Times, what 9-11 taught us about leadership in a crisis. A very effective article. So I hope you enjoy that. Uh, thank you. I really enjoyed uh, listening into the seminar from the McChrystal Group. Uh, that was led by uh, Rachel Lemire and Chris Fusel, and I'm sure they'll have some more very informative uh, leadership uh, webinars and information coming up. This is Ken Kreitzer.